When it comes to building funnels with WordPress, it may be quite confusing if you already have a page builder because on the surface, it looks like the page builder can pretty much do everything that Cutflows does. So in this video, I'm going to address a question that I normally get via email. And in this particular situation, I have a question on my YouTube channel, which was sent by Emilio, where Emilio says, what is the benefit of using Cutflows if you have Divi? Is it the ability to organize pages into flows or are there any other technical features that make the 300 worth investment? Right, so as I mentioned, this is a question that I get all the time. Why can't I create these uh, steps or these funnels in my page builder? And the answer to that is yes, it's possible, but it's very, very difficult. Now, here's what I mean by that. When it comes to creating your pages, in fact, let me go into my WordPress admin dashboard here and go to pages. So let's say you had three or four funnels, which have, let's say, four steps. That's like 16 pages, right? And they will be listed like this. So when you have all these pages listed like this, you would have to make sure that everything is linking properly and everything is in the right place. And also you need to add a way of getting payments from the clients that come onto your website. So this can be a bit complicated. And then when it comes to other features like order bumps, definitely your page builder couldn't do that. So without me jumping really forward, let me just explain again why Cutflows will be a better option. So now that we've seen that here, which could be unnecessarily having a long list of pages that uh, relate to your funnels. Now, let me show you what this looks like if I were to come to cart flows. So I'm gonna come over here and click on flows. So the first thing you see here is these two. So this it could be a promo to uh, promote your free ebook and this could be a Black Friday promo as well. So as you go into each flow, so for example, I'm gonna go into this one here, free book. So these are where the pages are. So the pages are all well managed. So this is one of the main reasons why you may want to use cart flows. And also the page management is fantastic. Now notice what happens here. So let's say later on your funnels is running, your funnel is running okay and you decide to add a new product or a new step onto your system. All you have to do is to come over here, click on new step and then you can choose what the step is so let's say it's an upsell you can just come over here uh, to click on upsell and we have these templates which i'll talk about in a moment so you can import the templates here just like that and then once it's imported you can actually decide where this can actually go here on your flow so let's say i drag it here and i want my upsell to be here that is how easily it is to add it and Cardflows has a fantastic feature called dynamic linking. So what this does is, let's say I add a new step here. When I drag it like this and place it into position, this is the step that is followed in that process. So from, for example, from the landing page, this will go to the upsell and then the checkout. So the way you organize these pages here is how that flow is executed. So this makes the management really, really, really good in cart flows. Now let's move on to the next thing and this is the analytics. So if you come over here and click on analytics, these analytics here actually show you how this funnel is performing and that only applies to that particular flow. So in this case, it'll be the free ebook. But if I come back over here and I go to Black Friday promo and I click on, um, on this one here, if I go to analytics, my analytics here will be shown for this particular product. Now, the next thing I want to talk about, again, is very, very important. I touched a bit up, uh, on it, and this is the WooCommerce integration. So when you integrate WooCommerce with cart flows, it makes it very, very easy to add single products. Whereas if you're just using uh, WooCommerce on its own, it'll be quite difficult to have it as a single product and then add your upsells and downsells in the actual page builder. And this could be Divi, Elementor, Breezy, or even Thrive Themes. So it's quite difficult to add these features in there. The other feature as well that is uh, quite difficult to, uh, to replicate is the uh, order bump. So you know when you get to a checkout page and, um, and there's that little box which uh, gives you like a free or like an offer just before you go on the checkout, well, that will be quite difficult to implement just using your page builder. Now let's move on to the next thing and that is the checkout page. Now when it comes to the checkout page, in fact, let me sh uh, show you quickly here uh, what it looks like. Now when you just use your normal page builder, it's very, very difficult to customize the checkout page. So I'm just gonna come over here and click on edit. 
So when you take a look at the checkout field, Cardflows here does a fantastic job of managing, you know, your fields. So here, let's go and uh, click on checkout design. See, so over here, we can actually customize this and have a single column, a two column or a two step checkout process. Okay, now here on the fields, if I enable the uh, custom editor, I can actually come in here and disable the fields that I don't need. So you don't need uh, to have a massive form for your uh, customers to fill in if they're just downloading an ebook. So this is where the power of Cardflows comes in. So you can come over here and just pretty much uncheck all this and this actually updates all your fields. So whatever products that you're selling, if you really need the, the address, you can always come over here and activate it or deactivate it. So it's very, very easy to use that way. Now let's move on to the next thing and this is cloning these templates. So again, this saves you a lot of time when you come over here and clone these templates. So let me show you quickly how you would do that. So let's say I come over here to free ebook and I'd like to just clone uh, maybe this checkout page or even this upsell. I can just click here on clone and then it pretty much goes in and uh, clones it. And then you can go in and start you know, working on it or make changes to it. Now, the other thing also is when it comes to cut flows, they also have templates. And uh, if you're using a page builder, you may not have, you know, templates, or in fact, it doesn't come with these uh, templates that we're talking about here. I know for a fact with Divi, it has uh, pre-made layouts, but they're not necessarily for uh, selling products or even have upsells and downsells. So here, what uh, Cutflows has done is given us these templates ahead of time in order for us to have a good foundation to start building all our funnels. So this is why it's important to use Cutflows as your tool to manage all your funnels. Now, before I forget, if you buy Cutflows using my affiliate link, I will also give you access to my Cutflows course, which teaches you how to use this plugin effectively to build funnels. So all you have to do is to go to the link that I've provided in the video description below to purchase Cutflows. And also Divi, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will also give you access to the Divi Blueprint course, which teaches you how to build professional looking websites using Divi. So if you don't know yet, uh, Cutflows is only seven months old, but already they've added amazing features on this plugin. And there's also more features coming to this plugin. So it's always going to get better. So this is why I've made an investment in this. But if you just want to build basic pages, like for example, lead generation pages, which consists of a landing page and a thank you page, then you don't need cart flows. This product is ideal for anyone that sells products or services online. To be honest, I wouldn't recommend this if you just want to build an email list. I mean, for that, you can just use your normal page builder and that should do fine. And in fact, I also have a free template. I'll link it to in the video description below. You can go ahead, download that uh, lead generation uh, template and use it right away. It's absolutely free. So this is in a nutshell what Cutflows can do for you. So if you have any more questions regarding this, please send me in the video description below and I'll do my best to respond to that. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.